Please join me in the prayer of dedication. Holy God, we are so blessed to be your people. Let these gifts be visible signs of your love that creates community, builds up others, and blesses us in the giving. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. One of the great joys of worshiping together when we worshiped in person in the before times was the chance to share our joys and concerns together. People would share a joy and the congregation would respond, thanks be to God. And people would share a concern and the congregation would respond, Lord, hear our prayer. All those prayers we still bring together before God, we just bring them from various places. So we invite you now to join us in our prayers and to join us in the Lord's Prayer at the close of this prayer and to bring your own joys and your own concerns. We join you in saying, thanks be to God for your joys and Lord, hear our prayer for your concerns. Let's pray. Holy, loving, and gracious God, you have such power over this world, such might, and yet you are as close to us as our very breath. And we thank you and praise you for your tenderness and your mercy, for your love and your power and authority over us. As we gather in worship today, O oh God, we come to you with many prayers, prayers for all of creation, for good care and stewardship for this world that you created. Prayers for every nation we offer, O oh God. We ask that you guide and keep the leaders of every land and every people. Give those leaders wisdom and courage, compassion, and a willingness to hear the voices of people who have been silenced. Give them hearts that are open to your leading and guidance. Give them hands that are ready always to welcome and to share. We pray for those in our world who are struggling, God, who are in places that are torn apart by violence, who are oppressed by poverty, who struggle under the heavy, heavy load of injustice. We pray for those who are fleeing from unstable governments and difficult places in the world. And we pray for those who are in camps created for refugees, places they thought they would be temporarily, but where they languish, awaiting a new home and a safe place to live. We pray to God for those who help them and serve them, for those who feed and shelter them and give them medical care. Help us to help the helpers. Show us the way in which we can reach out to those in poverty, in injustice, in violence, in war, and be words and acts of help to them. We pray for our community and especially today for our congregation. As we gather in our annual meeting, we remember that you have been with us as a gathered people making us a church in this place since 1844. And we thank you and praise you for your presence and your steadfast love for us. As we enter into this new year and look back at our previous year, God, make us grateful, make us strong and make us courageous to do the work that you would have us do and to fulfill the mission that you have given us to do in this time and in this place. We pray for those among us who are sick and all who are sick in body or mind or spirit. Let the words of Jesus speaking with power and authority come to them and give them healing and give them peace. We pray for those who mourn. Send your spirit to comfort them and let us be a source of peace and comfort to them as well. 
We pray now the prayers that only we know, or even the prayers that only you know. And we know that the Spirit prays for us with sighs too deep for words, and we offer up our prayers in silence. We offer up all these prayers in the powerful name of Jesus, who taught us to pray, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen.